please just stop. This morning about 6 a.m. I was waiting on my alarm to go off. I was awake, I've been awake since 3.39 in the morning and had my blanket over my head, didn't see who it was, but I know who it was. Young black man, about six feet tall, drives a white car, frequently gives me the exact same thing. And this time, I even spoke through the blanket in case he was still there and let him know that I could smell the fragrance. <coughs> I actually had a reaction to it. I had to carefully loop it up and drag it off. It's here sitting in front of the store in case somebody comes along who has no sense of smell and is, isn't reactive to that particular fabric softener or whatever the fuck is on that. It's usually on the bag. I've had problems with this young man several times bringing me food where the food of whatever is okay, but the bag it's in just is, and on sometimes the inside of the bag, sometimes the outside of the packages is just drenched with fragrances, sometimes more than one. This time it's clearly a it's like fabric softener. And fortunately there was enough wind and shit like that. And I got up and got my ass moving. I didn't have a choice because if I lay there, because they set it right on the seat of my wheelchair, which is like less than a foot away from my fucking nose. Please. I always ask if I can smoke in your presence. Yesterday, the lady said no, even though she's sitting there right next to what was a dangerous air warning, you know, heavy traffic. But no, I can't smoke, even though I am downwind of her. So I allow myself to be manipulated you need to be manipulated a little bit too. Stop bringing me shit that if you know there's fragrance on it, if you can't smell the fragrance on it and I can smell that shit from feet away, then there's a problem. I'm not going to go more than three minutes here. Please stop giving me stuff that's drenched in fragrances and shit. Stop giving me shit that I can't use, can't wear, doesn't fit me. But that was my general conversation with the lady yesterday. It was just, you know, what do I want and need? And generally, y'all really don't have what I want and need and stuff. I'm on a very, very strict diet now to keep from, you know, keep my health up because I'm looking at surgery in a few days or a week or so. And I've got to, and Anyway, if anybody knows the young black man, about six foot tall, slender, well-behaved, nice guy, drives a kind of a white, you know, sedan, I think four-door sedan, please tell him, because he always gives me, you, one of the standards is like three or four Culligan Waters and three or four Cheeto Crisps. Oh my God, I can actually smell them. I got down when the, I put the food 15 feet away in the water and Please don't do that again. Honestly, man. That's, you know, actually the last time the bag was okay, but this time I can tell it's all over. That bag is just saturated with a fragrance that I can't get near. It was, for me, it was just, you know, another hassle I had to deal with this morning. Please, if you really want to help me, I already told you before, give me cash money. Don't be giving me shit that's drenched in perfume. You know, it's 10 sizes too small. is isn't, you know, wintertime stuff when it's 107 degrees. Stop giving me shit that I can't use, won't use, and I'm going to just throw in the trash. You know, that's simple as that. Jeez. And please don't be setting anything that might be just saturated with fragrance that you can't smell because you're used to it. It's called nest smell. Look it up. Nest, N-E-S-T. People sometimes get used to the fact that they're living right in the middle of a puddle of perfume and or other fragrances like a hog farm. They, their brain blots it out. It's called nest smell. I've gone five minutes on this. Please stop with all the shit that I really don't want, don't need, don't. And especially keep your fucking fragrances to your fucking self. Really, don't get near me. If you're covered with fragrances, 
don't handle anything that you're going to hand to me because it's going to usually be on your hands. It's going to transfer. And I really don't fucking, you know, I mean, really, your inconsideration is, you know, of course, I'm, I'm used to having being people just being totally inconsiderate of me my entire fucking life. So, please, just stop it. Like I said, I'll fucking eat out of the fucking dumpster. Either give me cash money, because you're not going to be able to pick out my clothes, Melissa. You hear me, Melissa? I'll, I'll send you a copy of this. You're not going to be able to find the clothes that I prefer and that I can tolerate. Because a lot of re I get a lot of reactions to fabrics and shit too, like fuzzy acrylics and other stuff. It's you know, other people picking out my food and my shit, and particularly handing it to me in perfumed bags and crap like that, ain't working. Ain't gonna work. Ain't ever going to work. Period.